Welcome back to Forming a Franchise. My name is Rick Porter and welcome to another episode. We're finally not traveling. We're finally not hosting some event. Today, we're just getting work done. So if you wanna know what the average day looks like for a franchisor, stay tuned. That's exactly what we're doing today. So we got a busy day coming up. That's exactly why we get here early. Um, I usually like to get in about two to three hours before the rest of the staff gets in just so I can get ahead or sometimes get caught up with all the work I have to do. This is my most productive time of the day. It's my favorite part of the day to really just focus on the things that I need to get done. Once the staff starts coming in, then I get to work with them all day. If I get caught up right now, I can give them my undivided attention and help them with whatever they need. But if I don't get this done now, it's gonna be a terrible day. So I'm getting to it. Almost done eating. Meeting starts a couple minutes ago. Choke this down real quick. And we're having our first marketing meeting of the day. Adam, come on. Here's what I want to do with you today. I want you, I want to work with you today to build a process to do this efficiently, okay. but effectively. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Here's why SEO is important. So Twitter would be every day. Instagram would be currently about once a week. LinkedIn and Facebook have the most similar content. All right, Rick. All right, I'm gonna jump on a conference call next. All right. Some of my meetings are in person. Some of them are conference calls. Some of them are webinars. But let's see if we can get a hold of Paul and see what he's up to. Man, I oh no bullshit. Uh, your your model is one of the most exciting ones I've seen. Because I, when I was explaining it to David and Mark, I was like, dude, they're putting sales professionals in charge of these organizations. Yep. They're not technicians. I've never seen somebody approach them. Yep. I think you have more odds of success than anybody I've seen out there right now. You've done the conference circuits probably even more than I have, and, and you've seen it for yourself. The ones, the, the franchises that are, are doing well and are killing it, they're, they have very, very good salespeople, sales processes in place. And the ones that just can't get over that million, can't get over that $2 million cap, they're run by technicians, and, and they're operated like a yep. technical organization. Talk to you soon. All right, bye-bye. We have 40 minutes. Uh, to get caught up on some emails. I've been trying to keep up while on conference calls and training, um, but we got about 40 minutes to catch up on 43 emails. And then we got our next conference call at noontime with another potential franchisee that wasn't on the calendar this morning when we started, but since we got here today, uh, we booked another appointment to talk to another potential franchisee. Whatever I'm eating for lunch is supposed to help me lose weight so that I can actually run and bike and swim, but it smells like dog food. And that's the secret of losing weight. Make sure all your food tastes like dog food and you won't eat as much. <coughs> I can't do it. That's just cooked too. Probably even five to six years ago, it was completely acceptable to have an IT guy, right? One guy that can handle all your IT support. Nowadays, it just doesn't cut it. With ransomware and malware and threats that are out there, nobody can rely on one single person anymore. Why? Because that person is not gonna be fast enough. When they're on site with another customer, who answers the phone? Who is your help desk? Who gets on site here when I have an emergency if he's already on site somewhere else? You're a great salesperson, you have experience, you've been there. You and me, we're gonna open up our business. Um, where, you, where are you looking? Are you looking in like the Dallas, Fort Worth area? Are you looking in the Oklahoma area? Okay, perfect. So, you know, you and I, we start up our own business in, in Oklahoma. You're the salesperson, I'm the technician. We're gonna sit in front of a customer, we're gonna have a conversation. You're gonna show that offering that Jack just showed you. 
and the customer is going to love it, right? They're absolutely going to love it. And they're going to say, hey, I love this offering. I love you. Tucker, you, Rick seems like a really smart guy too. We do want to move forward with you guys. I told you the biggest issue is responsiveness. So my, I got a couple questions for you. One, how many guys do you have? And you're going to say, well, it's me and Rick. And right away, that's a deal breaker, right? Because you and I are never going to be able to give them the responsiveness they're looking for. But when you're part of a cinch franchise, for example, and they say the exact same question, how many people do you got working for you? You get to turn around and say 50. Because you do. There might only be you and me in Oklahoma, but we have over 30 people on the help desk here in Massachusetts that are working on your behalf and closing 95% of the tickets for your customers. You have all the right answers. That's why we put it in there. You get to overcome that obstacle from day one. Also, you're going to get an email from our candidate portal with the FDD. It will have instructions on how you just sign the acknowledgement, so that starts the, the clock for us. And then in those 16 days, let's keep in touch. Any questions that you have, you've got my contact information. Don't hesitate to reach out. Um, and then we'll kind of walk it down the path and, and see if you're ready to come visit us. Okay. Fantastic. Well, thank you for jumping on so short notice. I'm glad it's been into our schedule. And thank you, Rick, especially for being able to jump on last minute as well. My pleasure. Um, so every month we review financial statements together, so pretty much that's what we're doing. Allison's a little behind, so we're usually doing this earlier than this. Listen, but. we're not putting the date on camera <laughs> so they don't know how behind. Hey, honestly, We're not that right? bad. We're not that bad. We're only about two weeks behind, um, obviously. For us, that's a long time. Yeah, most <laughs> businesses try to close out their financials the week after the month ends or something like that. So we're about a week behind today, but that's mostly because I'm not around all the time. So uh, who are we starting with? All right, guys, I'm about to jump into a potential franchisee meeting. Uh, it's a private one-on-one -on -one meeting, so you guys have to stay here. I'll catch up with you guys right after. All right, we just finished up a secret sauce webinar in-person discussion with a really good, actually, uh, potential franchisee. That's actually two or three really good potential franchisees that we've talked to today. So it's been a good day. Uh, 5.30, we have a uh, webinar conference call with Marcos Mora in just a little bit to talk about franchise marketing. So should be a really good episode. Uh, and we're gonna talk to him in just a little bit. Let's go. Marcos, what's going on? Hey man, how are you? Not too bad. What are you at, a standing desk over there? I'm at a standing desk. You're getting your exercise, huh? Like I, I have a chair, but it's kinda like when people come in to talk, but like, like I don't, I never, I don't sit anymore. That's not a chair, that's a coat rack to your right. <laughs> or your yeah, left. Yeah, 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 exactly, right? <laughs> yeah, like I just, just like where I put my crap in there, you know. So yeah. Um, so why why do this? Like I know. So I, because so who who is the audience you're hoping will get this stuff? All right, that wraps up for a phone call with Marcos. Uh, it was a really really good conversation, all about franchise marketing. Uh, Marcos, in my opinion, is probably one of the. Uh, the most amazing professionals on the marketing side that I've seen since I've come into franchising. And the conversation was so good, lasts about an hour long, that we'll probably do an entire another episode on forming a franchise all about marketing for franchises. So we'll leave those clips out for now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this full day of franchising with us. Hopefully it was a little bit of insight into the type of schedule, the type of things that you would do if you decided to franchise your business. You still have your original business and now you have a whole nother franchise business to manage as well. It's about 7.15 right now. We're gonna head out for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as promised, here is your Iron Man update. I love the journey of a real challenge, the Iron Man. It inspires me to reimagine my own limits and to push myself further than ever before. The Iron Man is a statement of excellence, passion, and commitment. It's a test of physical toughness and mental strength. It's about enduring and persevering. 
Right now, I'm 30 pounds overweight. I own several businesses, I'm married with three kids, I don't swim, and I don't own a bike. But I hope to be an example of hard work and dedication for the people I know, for my family. Because my children will be watching this journey, they will see the sweat, they will witness the pain, because they will be waiting at the finish line, hopeful that daddy might accomplish this impossible goal. All done at the gym. I said I was going to do a half marathon today. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but I did just over 13.13 miles. Really, really slow, 13.1 miles. But still very early in the training and I am trying my best to build a really good foundation. So uh, very, very happy with the distance. I still have six months plus uh, to get faster. But that kind of volume makes me very happy. Now I just gotta make it easier and easier and faster and faster, just a little bit at a time. So uh, very happy with the day, actually. And I haven't been able to say that too much uh, throughout the training so far. So on, off to a really good day. See you guys.